the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Portugal against France. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Portugal decide to name a starting eleven that looks like this. Rui Patricio, keeps goal. Ricardo Carvalho, Bruno Alves, Fiorinha, Eliseu, Thiago, Fabio Coentrao, Xiao Moutinho, Cristiano Ronaldo, Nani. Danny, tasked with leading the line. then so Jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here well this guy has got great potential and it's Paul Pogba not many players leave Manchester United and become better but he's one and not only has he improved his game he's now one of the very best at what he does uh, a truly great midfield talent for me yeah I'd have picked him too no doubt the fans feel much the same way Fiorina, Cristiano Ronaldo. Into a good position down the right, just needs support to arrive. Looks to slip it through. Martial. Chiru. Passes it through. Martial looking to get on the end of this. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Coyotrao, Thiago, Fiorina, it's a long forward pass, it's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now, Danny, and he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick, and it's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking, well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Decent enough try. Gone a long way up and away. Danny tries one. You can get that clear. And it's Matuidi. Matuidi with the ball through. So 
side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Ricardo Carvalho pumps it upfield. Matridi is steaming forward. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Tries lifting it over. It's a fabulous position. That really should have hit the net. Well, he was so quick to respond to that, almost made it count. Great opportunity. Sanya. And Aseu positions himself well and cuts it out. Matuidi. Sanya. Griezmann. Giroud. Matuidi. Evra. Now it's Martial. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? Chance to shoot. Giroud with the shot! Goal! France! Oh, that always looked like the outcome. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. France take the lead. Well, let's put him in the driving seat, but there's a lot of football left in this one yet, believe me. Matuidi plays it out to the wing. Turns and goes back. And he's there to hoof it away. Matuidi. surprise at all that this is the guy who's had such a positive impact well not only can a player of such high caliber show the imagination to set up a goal but he can also produce when the pressure's on to deliver a big moment this guy was born to create Portugal yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge Koscielny Evra, Martial, tries a through ball, Viorinha does well there, alert, Thiago. Now it's Danny. Both sides a bit lacking in intent, and it's Danny. Now the pass, managed to get it away. Good battle there, terrific to watch. Half time getting close now. Martial. Out again for a throw in. Danny. Tries a long pass towards the front. Danny looking to run onto it. So who's he picking out? It's a loose ball. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Rafael Varan. Sanya. Griezmann. Sanya. Pogba. Matridi. Giroud. And it's Danny. Looks like a good ball through. That'll go straight through to the keeper. The 
half-time whistle goes. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And we're underway again. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Griezmann. Pogba. Giroud. Tries a through ball. Here it comes. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. The ball through. Eliseu. Now the pass. Cristiano Ronaldo! Pogba. He does have an assist to his name. Looks like a good ball through. Ricardo Carvalho. Thiago passes it through. Danny, unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Martial looks to slip it through. Well positioned to make that interception. Matuidi, lovely feet. Surely this time, that is special! Olivier Giroud! Two to the good, they have breathing space! Rui Patricio reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. France get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Giroud. Now it's Matuidi. Pogba, Portugal haven't made a substitution yet. Tries a through ball, and he's there to cut it out. Good clearance and very necessary. Giroud. Forward it goes. Danny tries running with the ball at his feet. He's on a charge, but he's on his own for now. Ovra. Matuidi. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Evra. It's Martial. Who's going to make this theirs? Presumably for offside. It's it back. Now it's Giroud. Griezmann.
and it's Griezmann. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. The ball's loose and he's after it. France get it back again. Thiago. Eliseu. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's made certain that won't get through. Cachelle. Martial tries to dink it in. He's picked him out. Shiru. Shiru! They are running riot! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. I just think there was too much ball watching uh, nobody's really looking to see who's drifting into good striking positions and it's a bad one to give away it really is he snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball that defense must be sick of the sight of him he's been persistent and ruthless all game he just hasn't stopped working France look as though they're about to make a change. France take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Can admit to being second best so far. They've not looked together enough and concentration levels are well down on the standard we expect. Nani. With that tackle, ball one cleanly. Popper. Popper. Deftly done. It's Matuini! Back of the net! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside, and I think you have to praise them all round on that one, from the pass and the finish. France tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Ricardo Carvalho. Fabio Cointrao. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Danny. For Shelby, did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Valbuena. Matuini! Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Jean Moutinho. Popper. Looking up to see who wants it. Sanya passes it through. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Portugal thoroughly outclassed here. They came up against opponents who were better in all areas. No argument. Your final thoughts, Jim? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win, and I think everything was just a letdown because of that. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.